My attitude has been changed. I have the belief uh, what's possible. Um, what you know, if I, but if I can do it, others can do it definitely. And after paying the investors back, the earn and learn back, it's just just over a fifty percent return on my money left in. I'm going to net about, well I am, I've been running for two months now, 770, it's actually been slightly more, uh, but yeah, okay, and it's not my property, and I've only spent £5,000 on it, but in August alone, we netted 700 a month on that one bell tent. So welcome, Joanne. Thank you very much, Simon. And we're going to hear about your inspirational story uh, during 2000 and 2001. So first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself, Joanne, a little bit about your background and, and kind of what you did before you got into property. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so I have to admit, it's very different to Tim. He was absolutely inspirational. Yes. Uh, so yes, a little bit about me. I think basically, I, I can put me in the category of being unemployable. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been self-employed most of my life. Right. Um, so it has been very, you know, very difficult sort of to, to actually work for anybody. So yeah, totally unemployable. What I did for first of all, I ran a petrol station. Yeah. Then I actually did a chain of restaurants yep. uh, in London. And wow. then latterly for the last 25 years, I've had this actually gift shop in Stratford-upon-Avon called Bright Ideas. Yep. I had two gift shops and that, that was my... Great. So my, you've been very entrepreneurial. Very entrepreneurial. Business owner kind of thing. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Okay, great. Very enjoyable. In 1999, I've got a frog now, uh, I actually bought two flats. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't an accidental landlord. It's what I wanted to do. Uh, I'd made enough money in my shop to to actually put the deposit down for two flats yeah and that's what I did great but really up until then I, I did very little else in the property I dabbled slightly but I think you know by the time I got to 2019 I was a real newbie in property just yes about. okay so so you so although you you knew property was a good thing and you'd taken profits from your business to put it away which is also a smart thing to do you hadn't really done anything else apart from that no not really no, okay, no, right. Completely dabble. <laughs> so, so in 2019, what, what was it that got you to change gear? I decided the time was right to actually get out of retail. Right. You know, just sometimes it, you can be your gut yeah. instinct. I had no real reason, but I'd done it for 25 years. I was at the age where I thought, you know, I need a new, I just need something mm. new in life. You've done it for quite a long time, I guess. I had, and I'd loved it, uh, but I did need something new. So right. I actually sold my shop. Okay, right, okay. Sold the shop and then thought, now what am I going to do? Because I've got nothing planned, absolutely <laughs> yeah. nothing planned. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, I came across uh, one of your webinars and I came across the HMO online course. Yes, yep. What I had done though, just before that, is I did think I will do something in property and I'd been somewhere and I'd seen this brand new uh, studio apartment and I'd actually put an offer in on it. Yes. I mean, whoa. I came to, I did my HMO course and I was really lucky actually in the very first PIN meeting to meet you. And I yeah, it was a Birmingham one, wasn't it? it was I do, I remember it really yes, well. Because yeah. I know you said, oh, I'm on your HMO course, Simon. You, yeah. you introduced yourself and, and we yeah. talked about that deal, didn't we? We did. Because you told me, I've just got, and I said, oh, well, hang on a minute. We did, we did. Absolutely. <laughs> and you said, Joe, don't do anything until you finish a six week course. No, probably a good idea. Right, I won't, I won't, I won't. So the next day I went round and said, I'm really sorry. I actually don't want the studio apartment. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wow, it's a good job. That was a bit of a lifesaver, wasn't it? That was a lifesaver, absolutely. Yeah. Not, not that it would have been a really bad deal, but you could do so much more with the money instead, right? This is it, absolutely. It wouldn't have been a particularly good deal. So, so yeah. yeah. So that, that's how that started. Uh, I actually... The Your Property Network magazine, I found that, signed up for that, and yeah. read your book. Yeah. And I have to admit, I was enthralled. I sat there realizing that there's so, so much to property. I mean, the naivety of me. Yeah. I never even believed that anybody would lend money to, yeah. to ordinary people. And, and HMOs, oh, I don't, don't say this, but I just thought they were for students. I didn't yes. think they well, were for That's what most people think. They think, oh, you mean student accommodation. That's, that's what right. people think when you think about HMOs, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so it was an absolute eye-opener. It really was. Uh, and then, of course, after the HMO course, I came on Mastermind Accelerator. Yes, so that was our three-day course. I know you came on with your husband. I yeah. Did. And so how did you find that? Well, first of all, I think bringing my husband was the best thing I ever did. Yeah. He really knows nothing about property and he's full time work, but it actually consolidated everything. I can go home now and say, Oh, should we do an EDC? Should we do a PLO? What do you think? And he now understands yeah. the jargon. Whereas if he didn't get it, 
understanding he might be quite nervous and an app and not want you to do things and could hold you back, I yes, guess. That, that's absolutely. And the three days of learning, well, it was mind blowing. It was almost information. Well, it was information overload. Yes, well, we, we pack was. a lot into the three days, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, was, it was fantastic. And, and to have him there, to have him understand, to have him look at it, uh, in actual fact, he was the one that encouraged me to go on the mastermind. Okay, right. Okay. I, I, I said, no, 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 no. We had Andy, actually, which was lovely. We had a chat to, and I went, no, no, I can't do it. I cannot invest in myself at this age. Why would anybody invest in themselves at this age? And he just said, Joe, I just think you would enjoy it. You would benefit so much. And he gave me his full backing. Yeah, that was that's great. great. It's great to have your partner really behind you like that, isn't it? Yeah, it makes a big difference, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that is when I came on, on the Mastermind, really. Great. So let's talk about some of the deals that you've done on yeah, Mastermind. Yes, and we'll pick out some of the key learnings from those as well. Yeah. Yes. Um, so go for it. Yeah. So let's have a look what I've done. <laughs> so these are the deals I've done in the last 18 months. Yeah. First of all, I sat on Mastermind Accelerator and you said, don't forget, you can add value to properties you already own. Ping. Like yes. the moment that was. Absolutely. Yep. So I went away and I had a bungalow in uh, the village where we live. It was my mum's. And for 10 years, I just rented it out. When I looked at the ROI on it, it was really embarrassing. It was so bad. Yeah. Uh, but well, I guess if you'd inherited it and it didn't really cost you anything, it, it's it's sometimes what I call the forgotten property. Yes. And, and you don't really think it because it's making money. You don't really think about it. Yes. But when you look at it with a, an investor's eyes, you would actually, I could do so much more with this. Absolutely. So yeah. that's what we did. We refurbished it i was going to spend uh to actually refurbish the service accommodation but i think you ought to have have exit strategy yes and because of covid and because it was purely going to be an essay in a tourist area i took the exit strategy and we did sell yes right. but what i couldn't believe in that i actually had an investor that i met at a pin meeting that lent me 50k out of the 75k refurb yeah i mean that was just mind-blowing and so hang on a minute so so you just met someone at a pin meeting yes who lent you fifty thousand pounds in effect after we yeah. built up a relationship obviously obviously it wasn't just here's the money you obviously built a relationship but but isn't it amazing people say where do i find these investors well Guess what? Guys, you want to listen really carefully to this. People go to pin meetings. They go to training events because they've got money. They want to learn how to invest and they might bump into people who they can work with. They can get a good return because they may not use all their own money straight away. They might not lend it all because they want to keep some for their ideas. But at first, they might just be happy for someone else to do the work and they just get a great return. Or as we've heard before, they might have a lend and learn opportunity where, you know, you do pay them money and they look over and they learn. So they're, they're being paid to learn. And, and it's about going. You, you've got to put yourself into the environment where you can meet these kind of people. So going to pin meetings, coming to our big events like Strategy Implementation Live and yeah. Property Magic Live, a, a mastermind accelerator. These are where people have money and you can connect with them and learn from them. But it, you've got you to put yourself out there, right? It's not going to happen if you're staying at home behind your computer screen. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so yes, so on that deal, I actually got a profit of 240K net on that, yeah. uh, which was great. I then upgraded an old flat uh, and got an income of 150 a month on that, yep. uh, which is just by doing something. I then bought a very smelly house. You remember yes, I remember the tips on the Master One Accelerator about smelly houses, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, on a bridge to net, yep. which was interesting. Uh, I renovated into a five bed uh, HMO and have a nice income of 1,250. 75 on that yeah a, a good good HMO you know, should make at least a thousand pounds a month profit yeah. it gives me about 21 22 percent <clears throat> return on my money yeah you know, great so that's nice great. it's ready to be refinanced in a few months time yeah so fantastic yeah, about six months time yeah i then bought a below market value a three bed house and converted into a four bed hmo minimo yeah uh, which i've actually let out on a five-year contract for adults with learning difficulties okay to a charity to a charity yeah okay so yep. that, that's absolutely lovely yeah that gives me about 1250 so not only are you making really good income but you're you're providing much needed accommodation to yes. vulnerable people in the market yes. a, a charity's looking after all you don't have to worry about maintenance or bills or anything they just pay you a fixed amount each month and you're helping society which is great yeah yeah so that is a win-win as well it yeah. really is yes yeah one of the lovely things i did was i was going to um have a yurt as a yes. accommodation yeah didn't end up being a yurt because that never materialized but it was a bell tent yeah and i mean i'm not naive enough to know this will happen every month but in august alone we netted 700 a month on that one bell tent 
Wow. That was amazing. That's great, yeah. <laughs> and that next year we've got two bell tens and, yeah. and we'll be running the season longer. But you know, yeah, that, that was just, this, this journey takes you into so many different things. It really yeah. does. Um, I can go into more detail on this. I've recently taken over a six bed HMO on a rent to rent, which wasn't in my strategy originally. Yeah. And I bought a newsagent shop that are converting into two houses. Uh, and that has, is being really, really interesting. <laughs> so Joanne, what, 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 um, we'll talk through some of the actual deals in a moment, but it's interesting, you were sitting there thinking, oh, I've reached a certain age where I want to do something different, but I'm, I'm too old to learn something new. Mm -hmm. and, and look at all the stuff you've done in this 18 months. It's, uh, it, do you believe it? Well, You're... no, sometimes I have to pinch <laughs> myself, actually. Uh, and I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Absolutely, I'm loving every And what does Mark, your husband, think about this? He is just backs me to the hills. Yeah. And I think secretly, he does help me a little bit, yeah. even though he's got a full-time job, and he's enjoying it too. Yeah, yes. brilliant, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> let's, let's, do, let's talk about just a couple of the deals then. So let's talk about this rent-to-rent -rent you've done. So yeah, rent-to-rent -rent was not on my strategy, and I read back my goals uh, only two weeks ago, and it says no rent to rent right. so how have I done a rent to rent <laughs> <laughs> the, the reasons being uh, so it came from uh, my VA's um, virtual assistant so sending out landlord letters yes. this is actually how it came yeah so, so it needs a point here so again landlord letters but you don't have to do it yourself you can get other people to use virtual assistants to do that for you yes indeed. yeah yes, great yes. better use of your time yes absolutely yeah it is actually in my chosen area within half a mile of my other HMOs yeah um, I've only actually spent 5k on this and I've taken it on a five-year contract. Got some break clauses uh, and the landlord has actually converted it and made it compliant. This actually was his family home. He's put in all the fire doors, all the um, smoke detectors, the emergency lights and made it compliant. So yeah. That was the deal that I went into it with him on. Yeah. It does have amazing communal areas. We've put a gym in there. It's got car garden, parking, and a beautiful air kitchen, it really. Wow. Has. The gross income for this is, is 2,970 uh, costs, 800 rents. I'm saying, sorry, 1,400 rents to the landlord. Right. Uh, the costs are about 800. I'm going to net about, well, I am. It's been running for two months now. 770, it's actually been slightly more. Uh, but yeah, okay, and it's not my property, and I've only spent five thousand pounds on it. So, so let me ask you. So, in other words, you're, you're going to get all your money back within a year, which is what you should absolutely do if you're putting money into rent to rent. Yeah. What people don't understand, and I want to help everyone who's watching, say, well, why on earth would a landlord do this for you? Yeah. It, and spend money on the property if you know you're going to make all this money. He's only making fourteen hundred. So what? what What's his reason why, Joanne? He's actually a builder, a developer. Right. And he's doing a lot of new builds. Right. This property had been empty for 18 months. I think he possibly intended to do it himself. Right. But he just has not got the he's time. He's just busy? He's just busy. I mean, he pulled out the place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Hasn't got the time. Uh, and I think in the end, because I contacted him January this year, so it's been a long, slow burn. Yes. It really has. And that shows the importance of follow up, right? That's yes. guys, write that down, follow up. You might speak to someone at first and they're not really interested. And most amateur investors will go, oh, okay, never mind. But what you've got to understand is most people become more motivated with time. And so actually, if you keep in touch with people and follow up, you know, this, this deal's now happened, you've been running it for a couple of months, but you know, it would have been very easy just to walk away from it, wouldn't it? Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so that, that's why I've done the rent to rent. <laughs> Great. And it, you know, even though you had the intention of not doing rent to rent, because it is quite a labor intensive strategy normally, it, it's interesting that because you had an open mind, this opportunity came up and, and it just it just worked as a rent. So why not give it a try, right? I think it's grasping the opportunities when they're there. Yeah. The fact that it's so close to my others, when you go and do anything, you just go to all of them yes. at the same time. So it's not really that much more work, is it, to do no, that? No, no, no. Which no, is great. No, absolutely. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So then I bought a what was a news agent shop, and this is proving to be very, very interesting. There's so many different anomalies and things to this. But Simon, a private investor invested 217,000 into this. <laughs> now, I seem to remember when you were on Mastermind Accelerator and we were talking about 
using other people's money. I remember talking to you in one of the boats, you say, look, what, I, surely no one's going to lend me money. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, exactly. And it was just the mindset change. So this investor has actually lent 75% loan to value to buy the property. Yep. And then he's lending about 75% of the um refurb cost. Yes, yeah, so you're putting some money in. I'm putting some money in. Yeah, and, and people sometimes want, they want you to have some skin in the game, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, but, you know, and then it is a win-win for him. And this is, it actually comes onto my top tips at the end about it being a very much a win-win for him and me. Yes. Because he's getting such a good return. And the fact that he's got 75% all the way through. Yeah. You know, so he's got security and everything. Yes. And he's got first charge on the property. Yes. But, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, brilliant. But I'm actually also doing an earn and learn on this. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> which is great. And I've got a lovely, lovely uh, four people uh, overlooking my shoulder on this. Yeah. Uh, and this has started and it, it's absolutely great. And, you know, we're earning learning from each other as well. They're yes. following me. They've got deals going on and we're opening it up. It's been, it's, it's great. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Yeah. It's been empty for over two years, which is very interesting because you get, you only have to pay 5% on uh, VAT. On VAT, the yeah. When you're, yeah. So when you're refurbing a property, you've been empty for two years, only 5% VAT, yeah. Yes, yes. And also you can sometimes get grants as well, can't you? Absolutely. Now I've been looking into this. If I go down the route, and, and I think again, the exit strategy uh, is one of the first things when I look at a deal, what I actually look mm. at. Now this actually has many exit strategies. But yeah. Two, two single lets, obviously, is the first one you think of. But then it could be adults with learning difficulties because yep. this company actually still like just a two-bedroomed house for okay. people that just need 24-hour care. Yeah. Now, right. if I was to do that, there is some grants out there with the boiler uh, and the installation that will all be paid for. Right. So it depends on the exit strategy. Yeah. This was on at about 240, didn't sell for a long while. Then it went down to 225, uh, and then they were very difficult people to deal with, but I did eventually get it to 210 right. uh, as, a, as a cash buyer, in yeah. fairness. The build is 80, is going to be 80K, 10,000 costs, 15K to pay back the investor, yeah. uh, and then the GDV of the two houses when they finished, about 390. Um, so to remortgage it, uh, that's 292 is the remortgage, it sells 75%. And then um, the total cost, 315,000. I'm going to leave about 22,000 in, uh, but if I have it as a single let, it's going to give me 11,600 a month. But there is, as I said, different exit strategies. And after paying the investors back, the earn and learn back, it's just, just over a 50% return on my money left in. Yeah, which is fantastic. So in other words, you, you'll get all your money back in two years. Yes. Yeah, yes. okay, great. Yes, yes absolutely. Uh, yeah, and I've, I've talked about the exit strategies. Brilliant. <laughs> so let's quickly share some top tips, Joanne, from your, your investing journey. <laughs> okay, so you mentioned it actually on your intro. I mean, I really do think the ABC mindset. Yeah. Uh, it is totally, my mindset has been changed. And I think, you know, mm. you've seen that, haven't you? Uh, oh, Absolutely. it's, you know, one of, one of the joys of running our mastermind program is it's great to people buy lots of property. That, and that's, that's what people want to do. But what's more important to me is seeing when people develop and change and grow, which you apps, you know, you have as well. And, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's amazing. You, yes. you are a, a different person in a, a than you were when you first started. I'm a certainly a lot more confident person. Uh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the attitude. You probably wouldn't have wanted to do this no, before, when no. we first started. No, no, absolutely. And now I'm a, a pin host. Yeah, I know, yes. You yeah. know, so that, that is absolutely mean, amazing as well. I would not have done that. I could not have stood up in a room and done that at all. Yeah. So, you know, I now have the belief. Uh, my attitude has been changed. I have the belief uh, what's possible. Um, what you know, if I, But if I can do it, others can do it, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and I've now got the courage and I have stepped out of my comfort zone. You have, yeah. Yes, right. I really have. You know, so I think the next tip really is tell people what you do. Yeah. <laughs> You've said that all along. Yeah. Uh, and that's now what I'm doing. And I hated social media. Yeah, but you're now very prolific on social media <laughs> as well. I <I'm> rather. Yeah. <laughs> but it's proved, find out, the earn and learn people. Yes. Really lovely people. Actually, until a week ago, I had never met them. This yeah. was all done on Zoom. Yeah. So tell people what you do. Yeah. Uh, and I think the other one is really, uh, it is a win-win working investors. Yeah. You're not going cap in hand. You're not saying, please, can I have your money? 
me. You're saying, look what I can do for you. Exactly. You know, yeah. I can really It's a positioning, isn't it? It's a mindset change. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That's the whole thing. That's how it's changed. Great. Brilliant. Joanne, again, really inspirational story. Uh, some great valuable tips in there. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. And again, I look forward to, to seeing your future success. Thank okay, you Great. Much. Thank you very much, Joanne. Amazing. All Absolutely. the best. Thank you. Yeah, that's Let's hear for Joanne, thank please. You. Thank you very much. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And look, if you want to learn more about houses of multiple occupation and how you can really profit using them, I've got some extra online training that I'd like to give you access to. So all you have to do is click in the link in the description below the video and you come and register and get access to that training, which will give you far more detail and really help you save a lot of time and make some real shortcuts to make sure you're getting the next HMO property much, much quicker. So click on the link right now and come and register for that extra bonus training with me. In the meantime, I've also lined up another video here I think you'll find really useful. So until the next video, remember to invest with knowledge, invest with skill.